Fibonacci numbers, golden ratio, and global financial markets. I'm Bob Stokes with Elliott Wave International. Fibonacci numbers follow a sequence that begins with 0 and 1, and each subsequent number is the sum of the previous two. After the first several numbers in the sequence, the ratio of any number to the next higher is approximately 0.618 to 1. Its ratio to the next lower number is approximately 1.618 to 1. This is known as the golden ratio. Fibonacci ratios appear throughout nature, from the shape of galaxies and seashells to molecules and even the human body. The Wall Street classic book, Elliott Wave Principle by Frost and Prechter, explains why these ratios should be of keen interest to global investors. The Fibonacci sequence governs the numbers of waves that form the movement of aggregate stock prices. Long and short-term market charts are often filled with Fibonacci relationships. Here's an example from the same book. Showing the 1930 to 1942 sequence, the market swings cover approximately 260, 160, 160, and 38 points respectively, closely resembling the declining list of Fibonacci ratios, 2.618, 1.618, 1.00, 0.618, and 0.382. What does the discussion of Fibonacci have to do with today's global stock market action? Well, here's an example from our August global market perspective. You'll notice how the Asia Infotech Index began an upward turn right at the point that Wave Circle 2 reached 61.8% of Wave Circle 1. This is just one example of how stock markets the world over often conform to the golden ratio. Fibonacci ratios are also revealing other opportunities elsewhere around the globe. See for yourself as you read our global market perspective risk-free for 30 days. Get the details just below this video.